Tala fa sa moe lau fa funga mai le nei tei mio le tai ao le a ua toe luas fulu iva minuti ona tala a o le itu la e iva mai fia fia fa ilo a tu le wa matau fa tasi masi tasi foi o tama ita ilonga ile ta alonga le a o le lakapi ele ngata foi le a tele a pe tele matati a ua ia au sia foi i le ta alonga le a o le lakapi a rugby union so if a tala fa tu ai lau sunga se yuli fia o o fa Good morning and thank you for being with us. Good morning, everybody. It's Alo Falava. Malo Lava Soi for Mova Lang Mama. Fab Tai Se Yuli, Amata Tata Lanoanga, Ofia Nuo Matu Samo. Yeah, your Mount Matu Otomai Samme, um, Fale Ula, Alesa, um, and my locking high Samo, my Fonga Poi Savai. Amazing. Oh, Savai, Lenu Femi Mafai. Lenu Tay Salafai. Beautiful, beautiful area, Savai. I just got, I just got back from there, and so yeah, I love, I'm loving the vibes that I see in Samoa. So go, go to Samoa. <laughs> yes, yes. How was your trip? Mm -hmm. Oh, it was, it was amazing. Um, I always, I love to go back every year, and with the lockdown, it was pretty depressing not going mm -hmm. back home. But um, as soon as it opened up, I was. Wanting to go back and it's relaxing. Good to see family. Um, you know, you want to take back your parents. You know, my mother, who hasn't seen her family in a while, so it was good. Good to um, be amongst family. Yeah, definitely. Uh, first of all, congratulations for my little Tawivi. Ina ua fa pale ina foi oe beto fia oe ille Rugby Hall of Fame. One of the <laughs> six inductees last month. What an honor. Uh, when did you find out you were going to be inducted in the Rugby Hall of Fame? Yes, yeah, so I received a letter, I think it was about a month and a half ago. And um, I actually just sat with it because it just said confidential and don't tell anyone. It wasn't until I got um, an email following it up mm. um, to say, yes, you have been inducted in the Hall of Fame. I didn't really know what it was for, <laughs> to be honest. Like... Um, you you play rugby because you love the sport. Um, mm. You play rugby because you feel like you're good at something, and you and you have that sense of belonging in, in, in a in a in a sport. Mm. So to be acknowledged um, in the Hall of Fame was was pretty was pretty massive, and I didn't know how to feel. Yeah. <laughs> so this was never go elipsimatati aliasa e mafafa we o oye. No, I, I didn't think that um, it was definitely not on my tick list. Mm. Um, and, and like I said earlier, you play because you love the sport. And you and you're well fitted for the sport, and you, and you know that there's a lot of opportunities in it. Mm. So to be acknowledged in the Hall of Fame, it was yeah, it was special because um, and even my family don't really know what this whole honour is, <laughs> sort of thing. So when my mum questioned it, I was like, oh, it's like a graduation, mum. So mm. <laughs> you don't really know how to explain it to them. Yeah, can yeah. are you able to explain? Oleale taua, oleasona taua mo oe. Oh, um, you 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 you're acknowledged amongst a lot of the greats. Mm. Um, like I was fortunate enough to be at the Japan um, World Rugby where um, and the late Peter Fatilofo was um, um, inducted into the Hall of Fame, and his wife Anne got up to accept it. And you know that's a, that's a great honour. So. Um, only a few people have been inducted in the Hall of Fame, um, mm. and yeah, I can't even. I don't. I know these through three other females that have been inducted from New Zealand, but yeah. apart from that, um, to be number one sixty, so that means there's not many people up there that have been inducted. Amazing! Congratulations on that. Now, Ofiana Amatamaye lo fiefie le ta alonga le o le lakapi. So many other sports. Why did you start rugby? Yeah, um, I've played so many sports throughout school, and that's the reason why I stayed in school. Um, it's because I really enjoyed playing sport. Mm. Um, I didn't find rugby until I was 16 years old, about 15, 16 years old. Later on, because um, I was big in netball, and I always used to watch my brother play uh, when he was playing for Otahu Rugby Club to so yeah. go along with my dad. And I enjoyed watching the game, but I've never played it. And then once I got a um, a opportunity to play for Aurora College, we played against Otahu College um, for one a one-off game. 
when I was um, 16 mm. and I loved it. I felt like my body type was made for the sport. Yeah. <laughs> I was um, an aggressive player on the netball field. So I, I took that aggression out in the rugby field. I actually, you know, it was legit. Like mm. I could get away with a lot of things. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so I started playing when I was 16, 17 and I've, I've never looked back. I've just stuck with that sport. Wow. And rugby. then six years later, 21 years old, Louis Fultasita of Sanga debut mm -hmm. mole Black Ferns, Le Aotele uh, Atamaita in New Zealand. Uh, and four out of the five World Cups that you played for, Namanu Malo Ai Oto, Lua Festival Malifitu Savea Oma Kapteni, and you held the silverware, and now you are the first female president for the Auckland Rugby Union. What is your motivation? And actually, before you answer that, how did it feel holding up that silverware, that cup? Oh, that was, oh, honestly, it felt amazing. Mm. Um, it's always hard to sort of say, you know, the feelings behind it because there's so many feelings, um, mixed emotions, uh, mm. that it was all the hard work that you've put in throughout the years and for you to have the opportunity on your last, you know, World Cup to yeah. lift it up was um, was priceless mm. um, and to lift it up on my the, my father's 16th year anniversary of his, his passing wow. was um, was even better because if I go back to that question my dad was my motivation mm. to play um, to play rugby and to play sport um, my family are, are, are my biggest motivation mm. um, and I, I always say like I've got three brothers and when I started playing rugby you always hear males or older men say oh a woman shouldn't play rugby or um, rugby is not made for girls but when you hear your own brothers and your dad you know nothing like that comes out of their mouth mm. um it's all nothing it's all encouragement right obviously playing and saying good game and all that stuff and that was my motivation as long as i hear them saying that within my own circle yeah that's what pushed me to like um you know to break those stereotypes of everyone saying stuff like that and you've definitely done that. Now, Oleasa Visiona, what is your vision for New Zealand women rugby? What we've seen in the past, like in the last month or so in the women's rugby, that's been our vision from day one, like wanting more people out there supporting the game, um, cheering on women. Um, we were, I would love to see more contracts for the females and, and good good money contracts so they can live on and a lot of contracts throughout not just um like the national team but throughout from like club and regionals you know to help support their families mm. because it's not easy you know trying to do three things at once working full time um you know training to be your better self as well as um, playing rugby, it's really hard. But if you can focus on that one thing, mm. then my vision is for females to be able to live off that and still, you know, be at the top of their game. Yeah, speaking of working full time, awa elengata o lauta alo ileta alonga lea at an international level. I lea for isa ye lau full time o loa vea bea oema to ma ita imalu o le malo and have been more was savali ne le sefulu lua tau sanga. So sa vaba lua va enga ia mo oe o lea se fenga tabo oan o afu inilu itau sa fenga. What were the challenges you faced as you try to balance these two things? I think. Well, for me, the challenges was rest. <laughs> mm. Like I always tell myself, I always just tell myself, um, rest in your sleep. When you sleep, that you're resting. You got 24 hours in a day to do to fit everything in. Yeah, and um, and that's just how I operated for so long. Um, it gets to a point where you're tired. Mm. That's why I always go back to Samoa. I find it relaxing to go back home and just have like a week or week and a half break. Um, so rest was always something that you give up, but. And saying that everyone talks about it being, a, you know, you sacrifice a lot of things. Yes. I talk about it as it being a choice. Like I chose mm -hmm. to play rugby at this high level and I chose to become, a, you know, a police officer in, the, um, in New Zealand. Yeah. And those are the two things I love. You know, I love representing my country in the black jersey where, it, where you know, that's where we're not, what we're known for, the sport we're known for. Mm -hmm. And I love protecting my country because that's where my family live. Yeah. So... Those are the choices I made, and that's just something I, I put everything into it just to make sure that I stay on top of it. 
beautiful. Now, Lewa uh, Umatu Leta Amilo Sanga, the Rugby World Cup with the women's tournament has just completed. Lea Saman Umalo, Leta Tau Awa Le Black Ferns. O Lea Silangona Sa Oya Te Oe Ina Ua Yili Le Fa Ili Ale Laufali Malo Leta Tau Awa. Oh, such a relief. I was standing on the sideline with the last four minutes and my heart was pumping. I was like, I just couldn't really watch. But as soon as that whistle went, I was um, proud of joy. Like, you know, I had tears in my eyes because I was so happy. Mm. This team has, has gone through a lot in the last two years. Yeah. And so just, just to see their progress and their, them lifting up every game, um, like, was was priceless. Like, it was something that I could, I was so proud of them. Extremely proud. Yeah. But one thing I do want to see is our Samoa, our Manusina team, yes. you know, come to that into that world stage. Um, I would love to see Samoa rugby pick up um, in, in Samoa, you know, and I would love to have opportunities to go back to Samoa to help out. So, oh, excited and looking forward to seeing that unravel for you. Uh, now, <laughs> a last question for Mulumole Seyuli. E ma fai o na au mai sau fau tu anga fo i to a tele ni si o alu ma fana o lo fa fonga mai ma fa longo longo mai i le nei te mi o le tai au o le a sau fau tu anga mo i lato just something that you have learnt in your journey in your years um, that has helped you and you would like to pass on as well. Yeah, um, I think the main thing for me is that there's that saying um, you never lose either you win or you learn. Mm. And so that's something that I've always had in the back of my head. Like, like if I don't make it in something, if I don't pass a certain a test or something, I'm not going to give up. You learn from it and then you go again. Um, or if that's the case, th- th- another opportunity will pop up and you go that direction. But it's always making sure that um, you, you never give up. Um, mm. If you really want something, um, you've got to work at it. You don't just... Um, expect things handed to you you have to get out there and work for it um main thing is also to respect your elders um always keep family close Mm. um you know you can never be too big for people around you you always got to acknowledge everyone around you um and always you know pray if something is not happening for you just pray Mm. amen Mm. last question for mulmole love sunga seyuli now to a samoa Finals this weekend. <laughs> Ole asa yes. fau tuanga e ma faiona e ave mo Samoa uh, a o tapua i mo le tua Samoa uh, mo le weekend ni? I think we've been amazing with our support for this tua Samoa and I know there's a big parade going on. There's a lot of little parades going on. Yes. Um, and I think the main thing for us is, you know, to our boys, good skills out there. You know, you guys have come so far. We're so proud of you. Mm-hmm. And to our people supporting it's it's be safe you know there's a way to support our our people um and that's by you know not not overdoing it yes. that's i mean i love seeing the passion and how proud we are as um one people for our to Samoa, but let's not overdo it and cross the line where we where you'll be seeing my colleagues and that kind of stuff so Yes, thank you so much, Seyuli. Ole tafa talano angen na neitai al, but we just wanted to say thank you so much. Mole fa ava no aino lo temi. I know you are super busy, um, but you have made time available for us this morning. Uh, God bless for the rest of the journey, and thank you for everything that you're doing. Breaking glass ceilings, uh, awafo i elengata mo leta alonga i lete mine, but also uh, our future players who are just watching and in inspired. By your journey so far. So, for Tay Lava Se Yuli Fio or Fat Mausili, Molene Tayama Leta Fata Noang. Yeah, for Tay Lava Forty Emanuela So. Manuela Leaso, Ole Fatala Noang, Namale Sunga Ya Se Yuli Fio or Fat Mausili, Olo Efa Fungamele Malu Litayao, Radio Samoa, Tasilima Vatolu Amor.